everybody, Carol from Carol's Vintage Treasures. I'm here with a Goodwill haul. Uh, sorry, I look so frazzled. It's my day off. I was kind of just hanging out today. I told myself if I would get my shipping done today, I would treat myself to the Goodwill trip since I haven't been there in ages. Uh, I wasn't going to go over what I made in my sales this week, so I didn't. I didn't end up doing that. I took the bus down there and my backpack. I put it on my scale over there and it's 15 pounds, which is a little ridiculous. But uh, yes, you can thrift without a car, but you have to be careful of what you buy and you cannot go haywire. I didn't really go haywire. Um, it was blue tag day. Uh, which meant um, all the stuff with blue tags were half price. Here comes Holly. I didn't know if you wanted to be in the video because you were in there laying down so cozy on your bed. Hi. Oh, you wanted to be in the video. I'm sorry. We went, well, I went to Goodwill. You stayed home. And I'm going to show you what I got today. I was hoping to find my receipt. Oh, no. I don't know. It's going to be in here somewhere, hopefully. <laughs> but I I got half off blue tags. And I also got, uh, I think it was 20% off with my coupon. So it wasn't that bad. I got this cute little box. It's got a mushroom on it. Very retro looking. Maybe cards were in there or something. I'm not sure. It was really cute. It was only 99 cents. So, um, I could probably sell that for $8 to $10. That's really nice. And it was 20% off of that. Everything was 20% off. I'm not going to keep saying that because that'll get old after a while. I found a Care Bear. It was $2.49. Pretty good condition. Uh, have to clean him up a little bit. I couldn't read a date on here. I, I, I'm going to say he's most likely from the 80s. Maybe the 90s. But that's, that's him. That is Sunny Sunshine Bear. Sunshine Bear. But I've sold these before. They sell pretty well. I uh, got one of these accordion wraps. If you ever see these, pick these up because they're usually a good seller. Uh, this one was $2.49 plus my percentage off. And people like to buy these for coffee cups or baseball caps or just to hang, you know, coats on. But they're nice. And they're usually pretty good sellers. You can usually get between $15 and $20 for them. I found this mirror. I think it's vintage. It's pretty nice. I don't know if you can see the... Um, I don't know if it's sterling. It might be pewter. It's really nice, though. It was uh, $5.49, and I found this vase, it's from Italy, it's just a little tiny vase. That was $3.49, I thought that was cute. Right. I found this art glass, I think it's an ashtray. Um, it's yellow, very pretty. A lot of people like yellow. That's what the bottom looks like. Uh, it's not marked. I'm not sure. Yeah, I know. I'll try to do some research on this. What? I should have brought some goodies for you. I should have. I didn't think you were going to be here. But with the little things here, I think it might be an ashtray. Hey, stop that. You're going to love how I got this home unbroken. What? <laughs> okay, we're going to get the spray bottle. Where did I put it? It's not going to be with an... Ah, there it is. 
No barking. She can be unruly sometimes. Okay, I'm gonna try taking this out without breaking anything. Take a miracle. It's one of my favorite songs. Denise Williams. Oh, I love her. Okay, here's my receipt. I paid $33.17. And I made about $40 in sales this week. So less than sales I made. Uh, that's my new rule. If I don't make it in sales, I'm not gonna thrift. And I'm probably not gonna thrift much anyway. Sorry, the camera's shaking. <laughs> I wrapped everything in this blanket and put it in my backpack, hoping it would make it okay. All right, I got this. It's Snoopy and Woodstock. He's on a motorcycle. Isn't that cute? Look at him. You like Snoopy, huh? Ah. Uh, Trying to see if I can read this tag here. It says peanuts. I will have to do some research, maybe do a Google search and see how old it is. Peanuts collection, it says. I love that. Isn't that cool? And it's, um, I think it's metal and resin probably. But it's really nice. I paid, I'll tell you what I paid, $2.49 for that and the discount. I said I was going to say that. I found some porcelain kissing angels. They are. They were blue tagged each at $4.49, so they were half price. I have these. And I looked on Etsy and they sell for about $25. So, that's nice, and they're in good shape, no cracks, no chips. I looked everything over really, really well, because if you don't do that, you, you're sorry when you get home. I got a grab bag, we'll do that last, because I love those, they're so much fun. Uh, what else is wrapped in the blanket that I'm gonna break? Okay. I'm not gonna say this name right. Artisania Reginata. And then a lion. And if I didn't say that right, forgive me. Don't come at me, please. Uh, it was $1.49. But these sell pretty well. I also have a, um, what are they called? Those dogs with the barrels around their neck. Never remember. It'll come to me, hopefully by the end of this video. I might be able to just grab him. He's over there on my on my table over there. And I got this guy because I thought he was cute. He was a dollar forty-nine. No breaks, no cracks, and I think it's charming tails. Let's see. Let's see if I'm right. Yep, Charming Tales. And those are a little bit sought after. You can't get a whole lot for them, but I only paid $1.49 plus the discount, so I think that's pretty good. I have to make sure there's nothing else wrapped up in this blanket because I don't want to hear a crash. I think that's all I got except for the blanket. This blanket I paid $5.49 for. It needs to be washed, but I think I can bring it back to life. I probably can get about $25 for it. It's in good condition. It's kind of like a granny square a little bit. I like all the colors. Yeah, it just needs to be washed. It's probably been laying around for a while. Oh, I'm showing you the wrong side. There you go. <laughs> Don't 
laugh at me. Oh. Don't laugh at me. There you go. But that's it. Very short, very sweet. I just wanted to show you what I got. I will be listing them in my store soon. Probably today or tomorrow. Oh. Hey, Chicky. I'll put the link to my store down below if you want to take a look. Hey, what's this? Oh, we were going to do the baggie. Let's do that. This was $4.49 for this bag of stuff. And I'm hoping it's not all broken. Because there's a lot of ceramics and porcelain and whatever. Okay, this is Homeco Little Bear with a book in her hand. That's sweet, huh? Maybe I could pair her up with somebody else. And then we have a little squirrel. Might be a salt shaker. It's got holes in its head and a plug in its bottom. Maybe he's got a little friend in here. Oh, I see him. So this is the um, the friend to the other one. So little salt and pepper shakers. Those are cute. I love getting little baggies. Uh, this looks like another home co. Let's see. It's got the same kind of mark. Yeah, it's a home co. Probably goes with the other little bear. Oh, she's a school teacher, and this is one of her students. So those go together. And these are all marked in the bottom like they were in the antique booth, possibly. Which makes me sad because I closed down my antique booth. I know how that goes when you donate everything. There's a cute little bear. I don't see a marking. They were trying to sell him for $1.50. What else have we got in here? Oh, a little onion bear. Is it an onion? Yeah, because he's crying. <laughs> he's a little onion bear. Isn't that cute? So lots of bears in here. We were trying to sell that for two dollars. And I'll probably um, lot these up together. Excuse me, Miss Girl. Okay. And this is Mary Tails, kitten with feather, twelve fifty. So there you go. That's cute. Holly wouldn't think so, but I think so. It's got a few more. Ooh, clown. Ooh, one of the clowns. Clown going surfing. Sorry if you don't like clowns. I know some people have a phobia. Uh, here is. I don't know what that is. A mouse? Yeah, we got mouse on it. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> uh, this looks like a mama cat and her kittens. A little maybe a trinket dish, ring box, something of that sort. Here's another clown. I'll just put them together. This is a little shaker. Oh, he must have a brother in here somewhere because it's this pair. Huh? And they're, uh, they were $3 for the pair. Very cute. I just love stuff like this. Here is uh, hard to tell. Maybe they're Foxes? Yeah. They were selling those for a dollar. Here's a little globe. A little miniature globe. That's Home Co. also. And a thimble. 
back for a little flea bite on it. There's a dimple. And this just self dimples pretty well. I just line them up together. And she probably goes with the other bear over there. Cute. What you got? You got a water bottle down there and you're hitting it with your tail. Do you know that's noisy? Yeah? She goes in here. There's another home co that might go with the school bears. Yeah, I think there's a whole group of them there. And you got a little bird. A little teeny tiny dog. And what in the world is this? Uh, oh, <laughs> it's a cat with a mouse on its tail. And there's its eyes up there. <laughs> it's very weird. It's got little beady eyes up near its nose. <laughs> oh my goodness. And this is probably part of the school too. It's a little stand with a book on it. This, oh, this is pretty. What is this? Brown glass turtle. We were selling it for two fifty. Cute. Another one of those weird looking things. I don't know what it is. But they probably belong together. Oh, it's a mouse. Okay. I'll buy that. I did buy it. <laughs> Here is another thimble. It's good we can lock those two up together. And the last one. Trying to sell it for a dollar. Let me see if I can peel their tag off without turning the other tag. Made in Taiwan. Anyway, it's a couple of girls with. So that's cool. I had fun with that. That was worth, what did I pay for it? Five something on sale. So I had a great time. I have not been thrifting in forever. I just had so much fun. I probably spent a couple of hours in there just walking around and I just love it. I love it. I love looking at all the stuff. I love laughing at all the prices Goodwill puts on things. Ah, it's crazy. The markups. The markups are insane. Yeah, it doesn't say how much I saved. I just saved 20% off everything. But it was fun. I had a blast. Um. Like I said before, I'm not going to do that too often because I don't want to get a lot of stuff built up here again. Um, I'm going to sell what I got and then maybe get a little more and not spend more than I make so that um, I don't get into trouble. I do not want to get into trouble again. I never want to get myself in that situation. Just bought way too much stuff for that antique booth, and then when I closed it down, I didn't know what to do with it. <laughs> Had it in the storage room for a long time, and it could got to a point where I couldn't afford that. And the lady I was renting the room for said I could bring it there in her storage room, and that got to be too much, so I just ended up giving it to the Salvation Army and starting over fresh and new, which is the best decision I ever made. Because that stuff was just weighing me down. It really was. And so, that was good, huh? Huh. That was good. Huh, Holly? That got us here to this nice apartment so we can have our own place. Yeah, I will
will never rent a room again, ever, in my life. It's just not for me. Being on my own, in my own place, with my own refrigerator, my own kitchen, my own bathroom, that is where it's at. So, <laughs> but we're doing really good, huh? I'm getting a lot of hours for work right now because we're doing inventory. And um, I'm going to be working a lot next week. Yeah, you're not going to like that. I'm sorry. But I'm trying to put a little nest egg together so I never, you know, get into a situation like I did before. Always have three months worth of living expenses in savings account. That's all I can tell you. That's the best advice I could ever give you. And that's what I'm trying to do. And then after that, I'm saving up to buy a car. And I'm paying cash for it because I'm not going to do the car payment thing ever again either. So... Oh, Holly, you want to say goodbye? You want to come up here? Come on. Oh, you've been so good today, haven't you? Yes. You helped me do my shipping. Yeah. You're a good girl. I guess that's it for now. Um, we've got the two new unboxing coming soon. I keep getting shipping updates. It'll probably be here. Sunday or Monday, I think. So if it comes here soon, sooner I'll pop on and do it. But there's three coming now. Because <laughs> I keep seeing things I need for our apartment, right? And I keep trying to get enough shorts that I can wear them here in the house because it's so hot. It's already reached 100 here in Arizona. And it's only going to get harder, hotter. So we got to dress cool, right? Conserve energy. Yeah. All right. Well, that's it from Holly and me. I hope you enjoyed that haul. Um, I'm going to get this listed as quick as I can. You'll see it up in my store. I'll put the link down below so you can take a look. I did get all those brooches listed, so that's good. And we'll get these things up in the next few days, hopefully, because I got today and tomorrow off. And that's it. That's all I got. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, uh, like, and subscribe, and comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the haul. And the haul. <laughs> haul in the haul. <laughs> You're so funny. All right, that's it. I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching, and happy thrifting.